Hello everyone. This is Dedu. Welcome to another episode of Icarus. In our last episode, we have mined lot of ores like iron, copper and coal and we melted those things to craft iron ingots, copper ingots. And in this episode we will be doing one mission or at least we will try to do one mission and then we will be doing something else so i have already selected one mission called crazed creature it is a easy mission but when i try to play it it was very difficult my damage output is not high and i died two times apart from that i have gathered lot of stone and lot of wood so let's check our furnace so these are the ingots which i have created from the last mine activity so i'm already uh, out of my ores iron ores so if you see in my storage we don't have any iron ore left but we have some coal ores and we'll be needing iron ore and coal ore to craft steel steel ingots steel ingot is very important where you can uh, make lot of better better tools and better crafting benches out of it so let's check our blueprint points we need this masonry bench so that we can upgrade our base from wood to stone also we need carpentry bench because we need to craft storage modules later on and this is also required for refine wood which will be a important material to craft upgraded items i have taken this beehive because a beehive produce honey and it is required for crafting lot of uh, tonics Ranching station will be useful for so I also need one uh, long arrow which will increase my damage output so let's craft it last time with the normal arrow it didn't work properly the damage output is very less and I was not able to kill that bear now we'll try with this long bow maybe this time we can kill that bear so my food is almost done and I have sufficient amount of food. I have crafted a water purifier and that will be useful to drink pure water from it. Normal river water is not good because it will give you dysentery and it will give you different type of debuffs. So always using this purifier it is better option. So let's craft some bone arrow as well. We need a lot of them because last time I ran out of arrows and I died. I think that's enough and we need to go to that mark location and find that bear and kill it. So you can change the arrow type using R key and you can uh, choose different type of arrow on the fly. So I have reached the location here and if as you see in the location you can see a dead marker and i died last time there i am trying a cheesy method here but i am not sure whether it will work or not last time it was running away and i was not able to shoot enough arrows to that bear 
so if you see if i show the bear it will come and it will go away not sure it is a feature not or the or it is by design to stop players not to cheat like that so i cannot shoot from here i need to go closer and i need to shoot on its head multiple times So it's always going away when I when uh, the bear is not able to reach me. So let's try another way. I can see two beasts right now. Yeah, it is two bears at one place. We need to kill one by one. But I'm not sure. I'm not able to do any of them. Is. This tactic is working fine, but not always it works. This bear have very high health. For some reason, it went away, and I don't know. I need to lure it again, and I think is. Health is also reset. So there is a chance that another bear so come, and they both will try to kill me. I need to be very careful. Last time I died to the other boars around the area. They. surrounded me and the bear killed me so here i almost spent 20 25 euros but still the damage is not that enough i can use this rock and climb on the on it and try to shoot it from my boat but i'm not sure whether i will get some hits or not body shot will not work because this bear is got a hell somehow it it able to hit me and i think i'm dead right now and that bear also moving very fast right now uh, i don't know what happened but that bear is moving very fast stone arrows right now as you see i'm only able to do 120 damage which is not enough and i think i'll die right now one more hit and i'm dead okay somehow it is able to reach i have the stone and i'm dead So I think I quit this mission and I'll try to focus on upgrading it. Hey guys, welcome to 
another day in the Karas. So that mission didn't go well and I had to chase it down enough while playing off time. And we'll forget about that happened in our episode. So I was gathering some wood and stones and I have collected some ores as well. As you see I didn't, uh, didn't have much progress on ore side. I still have that many irons and I have that much of other ores as well. So there is a baby moa standing there, I don't know what happened to his mother but if I think we can uh, tame this guy, not sure whether we can keep it alive and fed it properly but we can certainly try. So I'll keep it in my uh, base only for some time then we will create a separate pen for it so it's not able to move inside the I I'll try again okay so it required food and some place to sleep so First we need to craft a wrenching station and let's get some rope and nails. So ropes are done and we can craft some nails as well using the anvil. lot of material so we do not need to worry about it so let's craft the wrenching station right now I'll place this wrenching station outside my base it will work without any rope So I'll place it here I need food trough and water trough to feed and water the more and also we need something to sleep so here in wrenching session we can craft the place to sleep as well let's craft this trough first we need some more materials I have crafted all the troughs needed then let's learn the sleeping area so it is animal bed we can craft so it's required fur and leather and sorry fiber and leather and we have a lot of them. We can use it. Well, yes, I, I got it. So I'll place this animal bed inside my base only right now. Later we will move it. close the door so it will not get away mm. 
Yes, now he is able to sleep. Okay, let's get this straw. We need to gather a lot of food for for this moa because they eat a lot of food and we need to start farming as soon as possible because otherwise I will not able to feed them properly. You can give water from your canteen. So let's go up, uh, gather some berries and other vegetables. I have seen a lot of vegetables nearby, so I go and gather all the things. So I mean, and pumpkins will be better. So let's put all the vegetables here and we will save these seeds. So currently I am coming to a nearest cave and I, we are surveying what are the deposit ores we can find. We need to find some gold and titanium deposits so that we can get infinite amount of titanium gold and platinum ores from it so let's kill these worms and we will get some iron ore here iron and uh, iron coal ore and we will stockpile all those ores and use those things when we reach level 20 so here we got the iron deposit and we have a sulfur deposit here so these are the bees and you can get worker bee and queen bee from it uh, those things you can use it in beehives i reached level 17 and i got some tech points and blueprint points will be used it in some time so yes i got some honey bee and queen bee so queen bee will generate worker bees and Worker will be generate honey comes and beehives all the things and when you grind those beehives honey comes you will get honey so I have gathered some iron and coal ores but I got a cape off and I was not able to mine further I came to another cave nearest cave and I will just survey it and find out what deposits are here. First we need to keep this one. This cave is larger than the previous cave and we may find a lot of caves, cave of bones here. I killed 4 bones right now and still there are so many up here. Platinum, coal, copper, 
or tightening the fuses. Those things are useful and they are used in lot of crafting. This is a ex exotic node. I will not be mining it. We will come back when we have three pickets. So I finished mining there and I got some iron ores and coal ores. Also I gathered some copper ores as well. So let's uh, land some um, building materials like stone basic building material will be enough right now apart from that we can learn uh, this lantern so in, in mine lantern will be very helpful it is better than the torch printer also good but currently we will not be learning it so i have already taken this season logs my talent point we need to get this lucky strike and we'll be working towards it before that there are no other things we can take we need to chase them down and for it to learn it we need to learn three four more skills along the way get up and go also good it is in the cooking and farming tree and we'll get that as well fresh is best is we can take it will it will not spoil your grown plants it will be stay it will stay fresh as long as you can harvest them In combat tree you can take movement speed with bow that will be useful while moving faster while carrying the bow and we will take this skill right now. Spear also good it will give you quick damage and good damage. Exotic sprinter you can take whenever you have one exotic in your inventory. It will give you some buff, some buff, moment speed buff, buff uh, like 10% of it. In solo tree you can you can go for health, health uh, maximum health. It will give you enough health and low null will be taking it it will give you a lot of experience and health monitor will be good currently we will be taking this health health maximum health then we will be working towards the health monitor our mobile grown up and we can name it and then let's get saddle for it So we can quickly craft some saddle, one saddle we need it, it will have two inventory slot and we can carry a lot of ores and overweight and still able to move fast, faster with this more. It will be very helpful to move a lot of materials from cave to our base in quick time. So I think that is all for today and we will see you next time.